Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this reading. This is going to be your monthly uh, reading. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Just keep that in mind. Uh, please check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Time is fluid, so the situation that I talk about or share with you today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, and roles can be reversed. So I can be talking about you or someone else that you are interested in. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Messages for Capricorn, please. These readings are for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed recently. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate them. Thank you so much for the support. Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. So what messages we have for you, Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Capricorn. Okay. Spark. I keep getting this card. I just got it um, when I did the weekly reading for the collective i did a live stream and the card came out spark is all about that initial spark of an idea of a dream traction beginning new and new i kind of want to read that card though i might read the message for that because i just feel like i have to attachment interesting this card is all about the past, being tied to the past, being attached to something or someone, either in the past or present. What else for Capricorn, please? Thank you. Peaks of joy. Interesting. There is light at the end of the tunnel here, Capricorn. Um, attachment is usually a card um, they see attachments as a negative thing it's not like a healthy attachment so so let me see what we have here for spark spark of creativity open yourself to inspiration allow life to show you its beauty perfect time to give birth to an idea start a new relationship or job or begin any endeavor Attraction is high as you connect with others. Interesting. Hmm. Let me check out attachment. Number five. Your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Interesting. This card is telling you it's time to take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, and authentically happy life, which is interesting because because of joy is right next to it. So this is very, it's reminding me a lot of the uh, devil card in the tarot which is your sign, by the way, Capricorn. Major Arcana for Capricorn. So that's what I thought about here. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Those are my two dogs playing. What messages do you have, Spirit, for Capricorn? What messages do you have, Spirit, for Capricorn? All right, I'm gonna clarify with a different deck, even though I didn't do that for the other two signs that I just did, Scorpio and Aquarius. I just feel like doing it for you guys. I just go with whatever feels right. Guys, you're gonna have to take it somewhere else, please. You're being rude. <laughs> Tell me about Capricorn's messages, please. So this will be a general reading, although they end up turning into relationship readings without me uh, planning it. So we'll see what this turns out to be for you guys. Whoa. All right, let's start with that. Knight of Swords. Messages. Quick messages. 
but this is a message based on truth, communication, and clarity here with the Knight of Swords. Star, interesting. A hope, a wish, healing, whoop, followed by the Emperor, sign of Aries, sign of Aquarius here. Right away, I'm getting messages from maybe an emperor type of person. This could be a boss, a father figure, a husband, business partner. Could be any of those things. I feel like you're going to get messages from this person. Maybe something that you hoped for here with the star. You got six of pentacles, four of pentacles. And the Hierophant, sign of Taurus. We have some people here, guys. Three people showed up. Six of Pentacles makes me think about making a situation right. Balancing of something here. Give and take. And then Four of Pentacles came right after it. So someone has been, I feel, holding back here. So someone's giving with the Six of Pentacles and someone's holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Some of you could be holding back uh, emotionally, financially, not communicating, not sharing your emotions, being closed off. But the higher font, some of you could be in a long-term commitment with this person, or this is some sort of institution here with the Emperor. I'm really getting that this could be, I mean, I haven't seen anything that tells me this is a love reading right away. So this could just be a boss of some sort or an institution. We're going to clarify and see, but I'm, I'm really thinking government, something official, something with like leaders or something like that here. And then if this is someone you're involved with, an Aries, a Taurus, or an Aquarius, then I feel like there's communication coming in with this person. Or there is a relationship right now that's not very equal. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Okay. Wow. Wow. Wheel of Fortune and Page of Pentacles. We're ending this card with an offer. I feel like this offer is tied to this piece of joy card up here. Really getting the sense that there is something coming in. Let me move these cards over so you guys can see. There's something coming in here that's going to make you very happy. I feel like for some of you, it's connected to your past. Others of you have to let go of your past, of holding on to something from the past is what I'm getting here as well. Some of you need to heal from a situation there with um, the star. So let's get into this and see what this is all about. Messages for Capricorn, please. Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Clarify these messages for Capricorn. Whatever it is, there's major changes happening with this Knight of Swords. I feel like this Knight of Swords, it's going to be a spark to something new. Something different I'm getting. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Let's start. Okay. We got, oh my God. Okay. Jesus. Six of Cups, Page of Swords. Definitely an attachment to the past here I'm getting. Someone has been looking back. See how he's looking back at the Six of Cups? Someone has been looking back at a past partner or someone has been doing research about a past dream or idea that they had, maybe a childhood dream or idea. Um, but I'm getting the sense there's some sort of attachment here. It's almost like you can't look forward because you're always looking back. So for some of you, this is someone else coming in to give you a message. They've been watching you is what I'm getting and they're from your past or a past life type of connection there. 
I have the tower under the deck, so definitely unexpected here. And four of swords right after. An unexpected tower moment. Um, some shakeup, probably brought on by th these news. This news. Um, whatever quick knight of swords energy is coming. And then I have the four of swords. So some of you, I feel like, are going to have to think about whatever message comes in. I have the three of wands. So there's nothing that you're going to really do with this right away is what I'm getting. Tell me about this star. Tell me about this star for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Wow, the lovers. Well, holy crap. <laughs> Could be a Gemini, but more than anything, I'm getting someone wants a partnership with this person. For some of you, this is your wish to be a part in partnership with this person. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini. For others of you, you are this person's wish. Bottom of the deck, the fool. Someone's taking a leap of faith making this offer here. Eight of Wands, again, communication. Almost like I want to start something new. That's what I just thought of. Whatever communication you get, it's about a new beginning, the spark of something, right? Tell me about this Emperor for Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. This person, I feel like why am I getting this? This is going to be for just some of you, but I'm going to say it because I'm feeling it. For some of you, this person is a controlling person. With the emperor. Uh, very... They expect a lot is what I'm getting. But almost like they expect a lot, but don't give that back. It's a... What's the term that I'm thinking? not coming to me just now but it's an unbalance it's it's the standards are unbalanced here but this person if this is the person that you have an unhealthy attachment with it's almost like you're you're chained to this person or this this emotional it's like an emotional tie maybe as well but i really feel like for some of you and this is going to be a small number of you you have uh, an unhealthy attachment to this person because they're so. I'm, I'm just picturing like you know, a f like a fist, like a like a like a like a not a fist, but like a grab. Like this person grabs you in some way, probably because their expectations. It's almost like a mental thing, is what I'm getting. I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but I feel it. Like this person is a control freak, has a bit of an ego, bit of a temper. And I have Wheel of Fortune right under it. This needs to change the divine intervention here to, to, to break you off this of this person is what I'm getting. Now, for others of you that I, I feel like for the majority of you, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is bringing you into your power so you can rebalance the situation here to, yes, break free of an attachment. I feel like with the higher font here, you wanted to do the right thing or you're thinking about that. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor for Capricorn. Huh. Ace of Cups. So this is a love reading. I didn't want it to be. <laughs> I don't set out for these to be love readings all the time, but I feel like they end up that way. So, Ace of Cups, it could be this Emperor making you an offer, or vice versa, you making an offer to this person. This person could be making, hold on, tell me more about this Ace of Cups before I get into it. Let me see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Justice. Sign of Libra. We have a lot of people on this table right now. Hmm. For some of you, this person Okay, so there's two ways. For some of you, this person has changed, has told you they've changed. They want to make things right. 
They want to rebalance the situation. They might offer you love. They might talk very sweetly. Almost like love bombing. Bombing? <laughs> if you don't know the term, look it up. It's not nice. But for some of you, that this person, this, this egomaniac here, they want to make an offer like that. That's for that small number of you where this person is, is a control freak. For others of you, I feel like this you want you want an emperor to make an offer and you have to make a decision like a final decision here about whether to say yes or no because some of you have been holding back here with the four of pentacles but there's love here king of cups under the deck and right under that eight of swords see some of you are thinking about this are in your head about this i don't feel like a lot of you are going to accept right away or, or if whatever decision you make about if you're going to accept this cup, it's going to be a decision where you're thinking about doing the right thing for you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is a very specific reading. If this is resonating with you, please leave me a comment and let me know if this is your situation. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups. Or, nope, not Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of cards fell up and I'm going to take them. The Fool and Eight of Pentacles or Eight of Wands. <gasps> what? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me get myself together. Fool, Eight of Pen uh, Eight of Wands. Sorry, I don't know why I want to keep saying Eight of Pentacles. Fool and Eight of Pentacles. So definitely someone wants to start something new here. A, a new, they want to they want to make things right here, I feel. Or some of you are looking for something new, something more balanced in your life, a more even uh, partnership. It's going to take a leap of faith. We have a wheel of fortune again. I feel like divine timing is stepping in to make this right. And then we have the world. So definitely big changes here. Uh, coming around full circle, ending a cycle to start something new with the fool. Definitely, I'm getting new energy here with all of these cards. Either new energy with a person you already know, or new energy just period. This is a new person. Here's Page of Wands. He's very attracted. Again, Page of Wands and Spark, very similar energy with these two cards. Page of Wand, uh, Wands, he's... um. There's that initial spark, that initial chemistry, that initial, hmm, I kind of see something with this person, with Page of Wands. Passion. Attraction. Page of Pentacles under the deck. So more confirmation. I have Page of Pentacles down here as well. Tell me about the, hold on. OMG. Ten of Wands in the tower just fell out and the Emperor again. What? Hold on. <laughs> Wow. This emperor, he doesn't give up. Whoever that is. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Could be you, could be somebody else. Could be somebody from your past. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Thank you. Queen of cups. Some of you have feelings for this person or, or, or something, and, but you're not talking about it. There's the Ten of Swords. King of Cups under the deck. What is happening, Capricorn? What did I just hear killing the emotion? I just heard that very strongly. Hold on, I gotta clarify this. this. This is a crazy reading. Tell me about this Ten of Swords for Capricorn. What is this about? Whoa. Hold on, there's too many. I didn't know which ones fell out first. Tell me, whoa. Tell me about this, oh my gosh, what is happening? I, 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 I promise you guys, I, I know how to shuffle. But something happens when I do these readings, I swear. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is this Ten of Swords here, Spirit? Tell me about this Ten of Swords, please. 
If those cards were meant to come out, they'll come out. Oh my god. Well, there you are. Oh my gosh, the tower and the ten of wands again. Something, I'm taking these. <laughs> I'm sorry. And to Emperor under the deck? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm, okay, okay. This Emperor is significant. That's what I'm getting. I keep seeing him. I keep seeing ten of wands and the tower. Unexpected shakeup. Complete ending here. The dropping of a burden. And then the devil card, this is you. I feel like this is you breaking away, dropping a burden of an attachment, an old attachment. I feel like you want to kill the, and I hate using that term, but some of you want to get rid of an emotional attachment. It's like you're tired of having emotions for something. It's like you recognize it's unhealthy or some of you, I feel like you're not going to get your new page of pentacles unless you let go of something here, unless you drop a burden of some sort. That is crazy. This emperor is very important. Whoever this is. He wants to offer love or you want to offer love to this person. I feel like he wants to make things right. Make a decision. Hmm. But I just can't shake off that initial energy I had about Mr. Control Freak. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I just felt that strongly when I first saw him. But he could, I could be wrong about him. You let me know Capricorn, let me know in the comments. Some of you are dealing with someone that's tough and wants it their way and doesn't care that, oh, double standards, that's the term, that doesn't care that it's a double standard situation, right? They want it all, but they don't want to give as much. Others of you are dealing with someone that you're very attracted to here who, 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 with the Page of Wands, um, who wants to offer love. Maybe they are in a, like a boss role, government, some sort of official role. Okay, let's move on. Tell me about this higher font. Oh my God, 24 minutes. <laughs> Tell me about the higher font. Whoa, okay. So someone's thinking commitment with the heart, with the King of Pentacles and the higher font here. Ace of Wands in the deck. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god. The cards are just flying out of my hands. I wasn't even going to clarify that. But here we go. Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and Eight of Cups. Someone's walking away from an unhealthy attachment or some sort of tra in trapped situation. And they're going to get their Ten of Pentacles and Sun, Peaks of Joy. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn. Judgment. All right. Definitely some sort of um, divine intervention here with the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. Second chances I'm getting. Judgment call. Again with Justice. Tell me more about judgment. Tell me more about judgment for Capricorn. Nine of wands, two of wands. Interesting, some of you are not ready to make this decision. You have walls up here, looking out at the potential of something. Again, this is someone who's been through a lot, nine of wands, their walls are up and they are still scarred from the past. This is someone who's been to war and is wounded, but they don't give up. They don't give up. However, Nine of Wands, the next card is Ten of Wands. Remember, there is a burden you have to drop. Okay, let's wrap this up. I feel like this reading is really long. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Whoa. 
this wanted to come out. Queen of Pentacles. What else? What else for the Page of Pentacles? Definitely commitment. We have a partnership here with uh, Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here? Hangman. Okay, anything else for the Page of Pentacles? Someone hasn't made a decision yet. They're, they or or either they haven't made a decision yet, they're in limbo or, or stuck, or they have recently gotten clarity. Yeah, they haven't made a decision yet. We have the Four of Cups here. This person is thinking, I want to make an offer. I want to give them this cup. I want commitment with this person, but they're stuck in limbo mode here. They haven't they haven't made a decision yet. That's what I'm getting. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated with you. If you know whatever the situation is, I'd love to hear about it because I feel like it's pretty specific. Um, but I love reading your comments. Thanks again for checking out the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.